Welcome, age of vintage society. He says, I used to wonder how someone could hate his life, but now I realise he must be a comedian. Yes, we're talking about Bob Hope, who made everyone laugh with his crafty jokes and quirky faces, and won millions of fans with his humour and charisma. But still, something made him say, If death knocks on my door today, I would love to open it with a smile. So was it his overwhelming fame that caused him to say this, or was it some pain he hid from the world behind that bright smile that drove him to face death? Let's find out. How Bob Hope had a different girl on his arm each night. I want you to know, my viewers, how much I appreciate you. Without your support, these videos wouldn't be possible. Thank you for those who hit the thanks button and for the Patreons. No one can beat the class of Bob Hope as the storm in his eyes with a peaceful smile was the most potent weapon he used to destroy his enemies. Still at the same time, those big brown eyes that sparkled with humour had won many admirers, both on and off the screen. He was also known for his trademark white hair, which he kept neatly trimmed, and the dapper style with a carefree attitude that made him an instant favourite with audiences everywhere. Not only this, but he was a comedic genius who knew how to make people laugh during difficult times. He was the lucky one who was a celebrated entertainer and entertained troops worldwide, notably in Vietnam during Christmas. His signature song, Thanks for the Memories, has become an iconic part of Hollywood history and still lives on in the hearts of every fan. And after all these years, we still feel like he's just getting ready to come live on stage since his entire life has been spent on screen as he was a celebrated comedian, critically acclaimed actor and beloved philanthropist. Yes, you heard it right. It's better to name him all in one package, as Hope was one of the most influential figures in Hollywood. He worked in entertainment for over 70 years, making his first appearance on Broadway in 1923. His career skyrocketed to success with films like My Favourite Brunette and The Pale Face. Well, that's not all, as Bob Hope also starred on radio, television and live shows. He was an influential figure who won many awards for his contributions to the Hollywood industry, including Academy Awards, Emmys and a Kennedy Center Lifetime Achievement Award. He raised millions of dollars for charity throughout his long career. He was beloved by all for his exceptional talent and generous spirit, making him a giant of Hollywood. He was widely known as a legendary actor who had a long and successful career filled with fame and fans in Hollywood. Bob was among the most famous actors for over four decades, and his name is synonymous with comedy. His cheerful character and witty jokes made him an audience favourite worldwide. He was known for his quick wit and light-hearted humour that kept audiences laughing. He also enjoyed a reputation with his fellow actors in Hollywood. He was beloved by all, highly respected, and always willing to lend advice or help out anyone who needed it. He was considered a true gentleman in the entertainment industry, and held a special place in the hearts of many, and is still named the biggest star in America. As he was best known for his comedic monologues, television specials, films and charitable work, his comedic style combined self-deprecating humour, rapid-fire delivery of gags, and cameos by celebrities such as Bing Crosby and Lucille Ball. He won five honorary Academy accolades and also hosted the Academy Awards 19 times between 1940 and 1978, making him one of the best-known presenters in Oscar history. Even during World War II, he made more than 50 tours, entertaining American servicemen worldwide, earning him the title of Ambassador of Goodwill. He was an iconic figure for a generation, and his influence on American culture will remain timeless. His legacy continues to live on through his charitable work and the many awards he received in recognition of his contributions to entertainment. Bob Hope is truly one of America's biggest stars as he captured the hearts of Americans with his entertainment and comedy. Besides being a philanthropist, Bob Hope was an outstanding entertainer for many reasons, including his looks, attitude and performance. He had a charismatic presence on screen that brought joy to audiences everywhere. His sense of humour was unmatched, making him the perfect host for any occasion. In addition, he was an excellent vocalist who could sing in multiple genres, 
He also had an incredible improvisation talent and could tailor his performance to fit any audience. His ability to make people laugh, no matter the situation, made him a true master of comedy. He once said, A sense of humour is part of the art of leadership, of getting along with people, of getting things done. He proved himself to be the unmatched comedian of the century, not by his words, but by his eye-catching work. Well, we still imagine where did this all start? Was Bob Hope born to be a comedian man? Or did his strategies make him the one he never wanted to be? Let's dig it out. So the Master of Laughter was born in Eltham, London, on May 29th, 1903. His parents were Avis and William Henry Hope, who had emigrated to England from Lancashire in the 1880s as a stonemason by trade. Raised with five siblings in an impoverished home, Bob's early life was characterised by a need to provide for his family and make ends meet. His father, William Harry Hope, was known to be hot-tempered, and the family often struggled with financial hardship. Despite these challenges, Bob remained determined, saying, "'Poverty is no barrier. It's only a test of character. That's why I look back on my childhood and thank God for the good times rather than the bad.' Bob was determined to make something of himself. He began performing in musicals as a comedian when he was seven. His natural talent quickly earned him a reputation as an entertaining performer, and he soon began to tour the country. By the time Bob was fifteen, he had already achieved fame in musicals and variety shows on both sides of the Atlantic, but he dreamed of making it big in Hollywood. In 1928, at twenty-five, he finally made it to the silver screen. His inspiring words still resound with hope and determination today. If you take up a job with enthusiasm, you can achieve anything, no matter how small the beginning or how large the dream. Keep faith in yourself and you'll get there. And that's how Bob Hope's career began in the 1920s as a Broadway performer. He soon became a featured player on the vaudeville circuit. His comic timing and musical ability made him an instant hit with audiences. In 1932, he had his breakout role in the movie The Big Broadcast of 1938, which was one of the first sound films of the era. His performance in the film earned him critical acclaim, launching his career as one of Hollywood's most beloved comic actors for decades to come. He went on to star in many more feature films, television specials and variety shows through his illustrious career. Bob Hope's contributions have permanently shaped the landscape of American comedic entertainment. Not only this, but the Pepsi Dent show starring Bob Hope launched him to stardom. His humour and quick delivery made him the go-to for comedic relief for millions of Americans during war times. His legendary Goodwill tours were among the best-known entertainment of their day, and his support for American service members earned him a place in the hearts of fans across borders. He was introduced into the Television Hall of Fame in 1988, and his iconic status has helped cement him as one of America's most beloved entertainers till today. On the other hand, his love life was totally opposite to his sky-touching career. Bob Hope was an avid lover, and had a reputation for being a ladies' man. He once said, A James Cagney love scene is one where he lets the other guy live. Throughout his life, Bob was seen with many women who were not his wives. He enjoyed taking them to restaurants, casinos, parties and on tours worldwide. Bob was known for his witty banter and humour, making him even more attractive to women, and that's how he had a great life full of adventure, fun, romance and love. He truly lived the Hollywood dream, surrounded by glamorous women and travelling to exotic places. He often joked about his relationships and said, I know I'm getting old when the candles cost more than the cake. The love list doesn't end there, as the recent biography reveals another side of this beloved comedian, that of a sex machine. The Secret Life of Bob Hope, authored by Arthur Marks, claims that the comedic legend's private life would rival any Hollywood Lothario of his time, including Errol Flynn and Bing Crosby. Despite being a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, Hope's voracious lust for women was something of an open secret that he kept hidden from the public eye. Now with this new biography, readers can gain insight into the man behind the curtain, who had a much more complex life than anyone imagined. He was a severe womanizer, and Bob Hope had a different woman on his arm every night. 
but he also had a reputation as being something of a severe womaniser. His list of conquests includes some of the biggest names in Hollywood, including Mae West, Doris Day, Joan Crawford, Betty Grable and Rita Hayworth. In an interview with Playboy magazine in 1983, Hope even admitted that he had cheated on his wife, Dolores Hope, but defended himself by saying it was due to the temptations of Hollywood. He also often joked about his womanising ways in his stand-up routines. Not only this, but he even said he had a different girl on his arm each night, and even in his eighties he still enjoyed romantic liaisons. Such was the charisma of Bob Hope that he had a timeless appeal to women of all ages. While some found his jokes humorous, others were less than impressed by Hope's attitude toward women. In a way, Bob Hope was a product of his time and place, an era in which Hollywood rewarded men for having as many conquests as possible. Ultimately, he will be remembered for his comedy, womanizing ways and luxurious lifestyle. Yes, you heard it right. Bob Hope's lifestyle is one of a kind. As one of America's most famous actors and comedians, he had many favorite friends, who were often his guests on various radio and television shows. Bob Hope was an avid golfer, and he was often seen playing with his friends and celebrities, who came to play a round or two with him. He also enjoyed travelling and doing USO tours worldwide. Bob Hope believed that laughter was one of the essential things in life, but at the same time he said, life without a penny and flirting is useless. He was seen enjoying his life to the fullest, as branded suits, luxurious cars and big mansions were normal for him. Moreover, after all this lavish lifestyle, he said, I want to try something new, and now I think I should try out marrying someone to make life more adventurous. And that's why Bob was married twice in his lifetime. His first marriage was to Grace Louise Troxell, who died of complications from a spleen operation after only one year of marriage. Though it took him several years to make his first marriage official, the story behind the mysterious marriage license of Bob Hope is a unique one. Hope had a weird marriage license for his union with Louise. It only listed him as Robert Hope, while this was likely due to Louise not being divorced from her first husband at their marriage. It led to some speculation that he had used a false name to marry her. The weird truth is that Bob Hope and Louise Troxell never officially married. It turns out that their marriage license was not legally valid in California. Thus, their union was considered an informal marriage. While they lived together as husband and wife until her death, their relationship did not have any legal standing. Given his celebrity status, it's likely that Bob Hope didn't want the publicity of his marriage with Louise to be public knowledge. Whatever the case, Bob Hope's mysterious marriage license remains an exciting part of the entertainer's legacy. Just after his first wife died, Bob married Dolores Dufina Reed, an actress and singer he had worked for since 1932. They were together for the rest of his life and had four children. He was a devoted family man and often spoke with great admiration for his wife and the help she provided in their home. The couple remained married until Bob's death on July 27, 2003, at his home in California at 100 years old. But he is still remembered for his service to the country and his unwavering dedication to entertaining people worldwide. His legacy remains with us today. And in his honour, the Bob Hope Memorial Library was opened in Palm Springs, California in 2004. The library is a 30,000 square foot facility featuring an interactive theatre and museum that tell the story of Bob's career and contributions to entertainment. It serves as a tribute to his legacy. Hope had a different woman on his arm every night, but others could enjoy life too. How Farley Granger lost his virginity twice in one night. Watch this video.